This would be easier if I knew how it went. Okay, here we go. Maybe not. I don't know, man. So, uh, okay, now I'll do version two. Cause I, I think like, as I was doing it, um, as I was doing that, uh, I was like, oh, I could do this. You know what I mean? Like literally I'm in the middle of it and yeah. my plan changed. So let me do it again. Okay. So let's see here. Um, oh yeah, we want to do that just right into there. Okay, hold on. <laughs> I keep changing it. That was supposed to be smooth, right? part out of this part.
Getting closer. I know I'm decorating the crap out of it now. It's okay. I won't. I won't. I won't. You know. No. I won't take any royalties. Okay. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so, okay. One more time. Mmm. So just just to show you what I'm doing with that, like what my thought process is, is that because we have this new rhythm that you've added with this. I wanted to smoothly, smoothly blend that, that rhythmic statement into, um, uh, in, into the other part, right? And, and just by adding this chord, I put that rhythm, I sort of bump into the next section using it, because we've got this. Da, 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 ba, boom. So I just created a bridge so they don't feel like two separate things right um, Really trying to integrate that that third motif, and I did it a different way this time than the time before. Um, and so that's another idea about it because and I like this is me, but I really feel like oh my god, this piece is so strong. We were looking at it on the lattice; it's so strongly centered around G. My ear is like give me a g <laughs> like, you know? so and and you know it's it doesn't have to be that way you know but but this is the way that i'm hearing it and i hope you'll take what you um what you sort of appreciate about the way that i'm putting these things together and then yeah. take another whack at it and you know keep some of it and you know maybe keep all of it or don't um I'll say candidly, my teacher does this exact same thing to me. I'll come in with something that I think is like, oh, yeah, I got it now, you know, <laughs> and it'll be like, well, this could be a lot better like this. And sometimes sometimes it's like the just the like the the new idea or whatever. And um, and uh, and so I'm like, oh, yeah. Oh, and, and, and like sometimes it'll take me weeks, you know, of like cursing and being like, <laughs> Man, he, you know, like first I, when he when he first started doing it, when I was started bringing in my my original stuff, like I would I would be I would be cursing the whole process, like he's you know it, it's like he's stepping on my baby, you know. But then I would learn so much every time, and most of the time, like he would he he would do something that honored what I was doing. Sometimes I would it would take me a while to figure out how it honored what i was doing you know because he's so far ahead of where i am yeah. um and and 
uh, it would take me a you know a while. And then like I just there was one piece that I, has, I did this insane harmony with, and and um and and he wanted to set up the introduction and he played this crazy thing and I was like, I don't what the heck is that you know, and and it took me a long time. And I had it in the notation and I could kind of play, this is all the piano and I could kind of play it. And I was like, you know, how, it just didn't, it sounded like music to me and I was going to kill it. And then suddenly like, I mean, this might've taken me, I don't know how long it took me to come around, figure it out, but a long time. And then finally I was like, oh, that's what he's doing. And, and, it, and he was really kind of, he saw the harmonic content of what I was setting up pretty intuitively, I think, and just wanted to, wanted to set that up basically so that, um, the listener's ear would hear it the way that I was hearing it, which is okay. some pretty dope musical jujitsu if you think about it. You know, yes. you know, this is some real Jedi mind tricks. So um, uh, I want to do it one more time. Uh, you know, we didn't do the a whole thing today for the internet, but I guess I'll post this thing. But I'll just show people that, like, we were talking about this piece that I've been playing here that you came out with. Um, you came in here with a version today of this that had most of what I'm playing in, but I'm just trying to bridge um, like this part. And I just added that chord going to where it was going. But we were looking at how basically the song centers kind of in G and E minor and you go as far as it's, you never really actually get a full on D chord. You get this funky chord that has G in it and A in it and F sharp. And then there's this point in the piece where you hop down here to this G minor and we were trying to smooth out that that jump down from there to there. So that's how we ended up doing what we're doing here today um, or what we're messing around with. And then I just said, well, let me just play a couple of versions of this um, and uh, see what uh, we can come up with or I can come up with. So I want to do one more to make to see if I can do slightly better. I, I, I'm pretty happy with um, how I've got this thing bridging into that because it's the rhythmic motif of this one, one, two, and one, two, and I wanted to put a rhythmic hit in there that bridged us into the next part where you start the patterns. And I like that the two things that i'm still if you know if this were mine which like my teacher i'm just taking it <laughs> just like, but but that these are the things that i would do and uh, you know um and where i sit with it right now is i would like oh i keep playing with this and going just wrestling this into into always sort of the rule is you want to make it more itself you have to get yourself out of the way and go like what it does this thing say and how do i how do i make it say that in the best possible way how do i allow it to speak like and learning how to do that is a really fun part of the whole learning the creative process and it takes a while um this is your first thing so yeah I feel really good about what you're doing and the whole process. Okay, so um, I'm going to zoom in again on the guitar and maybe turn up the light so you can see what's what and which button do I push? I don't know. Oh, look, somebody somebody on the internet, internet world, teach me how to automate that on OBS so that I can change my, uh, my LED lights automatically with my... Uh, um, OBS, would you? Okay, fine. Okay, so we're starting like...
No, leave that bit out. I keep doing it, but because you want to make the listener's ear want it at the very end. So uh, I'm going to start from going into the bridge this bit. So and I keep hearing, we die. Oh, yeah. Okay, chew on that. I just did a whole bunch of other new things that I didn't like tend to do, but I started thinking, so I'll tell you what happened was, um, as I was going through, I started thinking about, okay, like I messed up right there. So I started on the bridge because it it was about figuring out a way to um, bring the bridge back and, and, and to leave out that until the end which I didn't hit as hard this time. And I'm kind of still like, it's me. I feel like, cause this thing centers so much around G. I really want to resolve there. You don't have to, but that's just how I hear it. Um, uh, is that the other, so then I, we go into this part where you're really in G minor. And um, as I work through that bridge and resolving that back to come into the last A section, I started thinking, oh, you know what? really want to bring just a little bit of that G minor somehow into the ending so that you go there, but then you bring it back. You know, the things that are wonderful to learn this from, of course, like uh, contemporary musicians all, you know, unless you're, unless you're learning harmony from classical music and then maybe from jazz, like the rest of us learn it from the Beatles, <laughs> right? Because okay. the Beatles, the Beatles, go, you know, use more harmony than than just about any. They use more harmony than anybody in like sort of rock music, um, and in music based on rock music. So, um, and um, like if you listen to "In My Life." they do this thing where they kind of borrow from minor and then they bring it back in the coda. And uh, the same thing you will hear in um, uh, something, which is a George Harrison tune on the white album where they, it borrows from minor in a place. And then on the very end, or actually it goes to, and that one actually goes to the, um, the parallel major of the relative minor. Okay. Theory nerds chew on that. Um, you're in C and it goes to A major. It's beautiful. Um, and then they hint at it right at the end. Um, and so playing with the mixed modality, you know, playing with the harmony. And if you do something in the in the middle, it's nice to kind of just salute it at the very end. Like, we didn't forget you, <laughs> you know. And, um, and uh, there's another, in my life, did I mention that one? In my life, does it? I, you know, of course, you know, we're talking about Blackbird and, and Blackbird does that in a way too. So I'm just trying to do that where we went, we make this big change in the middle. So to give it a little, you know, just go there one more time in the end. Okay. I'm gonna play this thing one more time. How do I do this? Like, Oh, not like that. Not the ghost. No, no one wants that. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. Someday I'll get this together. 
brought to you never mind um how does this thing go I didn't really totally land it on the end. I started messing around too much. There's not, I was just too much in it because I, I sort of started rethinking this, that bridge E sort of E flat chord and cause where that takes you because you end up there and whatever. But um, so at any rate, no, oh, the ghost is back. No one wants that. Okay. So, um, so at any rate, I, we made a bunch of versions of this and the way that I would process this myself is I would, I would, you know, kind of, I would do this in audio, but I would, I would take these things and I would listen to them and I would probably go running or walking or whatever and listening to them. And, and you'll, and you'll go, and you'll listen to it and you'll be like, Nope. Yep. Nope. Because it's just about the feeling. It's about how you want it. You know, how it sounds is secondary to the emotion that you want to engender. So, um, and then learning the craft of the sounds is, you know, in doing that, that's what we're doing. So, cool. all right. That's good. Yeah.